Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to, um, kind of do a cheap way of Photoshop with the GIMP here. It's a free program in the description. But with the follow thing I showed you the other day, I'm going to show you how to make it all cool. Because it's a green screen thing. So, what you want to do is go here, and if it's not a PNG file, it's like JPEG or whatever the hell, um, hit add alpha channel. Now you can do it whatever you can go up to the tools box wherever that is if it's not here then you can go in the windows and probably find it um, but you go to the fuzzy tool select click the green um, and it's gonna go around anywhere that's not green as you can see it. so we're going to um, hit delete on your keyboard or if you want, you can go file, I think, in here and hit. Um, is there delete in here? And edit in one of these, you'll probably find a delete, but uh, you can just hit delete on your keyboard. And bam. You're going to have things like this, but what we're trying to do here is. Yeah. Is this is what we're trying to get? So we're gonna go here and delete these spots. If they're small. You can take the little magnifying glass here and hit zoom in. Um, yeah, I might need to do that for that mouth. Unless you can get it, get whatever you can without the. Uh, I guess whatever color you click, just make sure you don't click like. Um, like that, it's selecting his hair color. You don't, don't want to take chunks of hair out. Uh, if you were to take a wrong color, you could do something like this, and then chunks of them is missing. So, what? There's already chunks of them missing. Clear. So then he's there, and we're gonna select the bits of green. And um, and then I have a background I have selected and scaled up. So you just drag this behind. The frick is not doing it again. Drag this in behind. Well, I don't want to edit that layer at attributes. Fuzzy select tool. Let me just do that a couple times. For whatever reason, don't know why, it will not let me drag the layers behind. That. Well, that well works now. All right, let's go to the original background and move this up twice. And then put it there. And there you have it, your stupid dog. And if you want to go down, you can move it down more. And then, like that. And then you got something like this. And then we can go to, uh, uh, damn it, where is it? Why can't I find anything on, on this program? I use it all the time. Go into text and say, um, me and Herbert with, what's the hell's the name of the, oh yeah, she, ba. You select the font, close it down, find, find one, and we'll go. Term all oh, Tezen and close and shut up and hit the select tool and then you can scale it up like as as it was an if uh, if it was a like an image and scale and put it like right here. 
And you can do other stuff like open layer as and I'll go to pictures. I have a whole lot of followed logos, so let's say I want if you want followed logos, really what you have to do is go on just like any achievement site or the damn thing or something. And uh you just kinda I want to actually move up a bit. And then move this so I'm gonna have it behind the rat. So I'm gonna scale it down and I'm gonna go to layer. And this this might be a little advanced for you if you just want like a background, but I'm gonna do the whole Oh damn it. I accidentally hit the wrong thing. Transform flip the ah oh, I hit it again. Why why layer? Horizontally. There we go. And I'll tilt it like this. And go like this and put it under. Yeah, I have to use this for whatever reason. There. And then all of a sudden it is under the rat. But I'm going to open layer as. Going to go to pictures. Going to go to world because I used to play that old game. And I don't think what I'm looking for is here. I'm going to add one more last thing to it. And I randomly name my folders in here, wondering why these are oddly named. And I'll add this blood to it right here. Then the last final touches is we'll go to pictures. Um, I go to follow, go to this folder, and collect. And get my logo up and put it like on the side or something. And I want this above my text. Again, I can't do that. I don't know why it's not letting me do that. Kind of like that. And it looks all neat and whatever. And I can't do that. I don't know why I keep trying. And then 